Hey everybody, so it's Vera. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Sephora sale haul video. So I'm going to show you guys what I got during the sale. It is not a humongous haul. I didn't even bring the box because I felt like the box even was way too big for all the stuff that I bought. And I did buy some things outside of Sephora, be or buy something outside of Sephora because it was a bigger discount somewhere else rather than waiting for Sephora and paying more. So what did I get during the Sephora VIB? In, I think it's an insider appreciation event to be completely clear. It's not the regular haul, the regular sale. It's not the regular sale because those happen in the spring and fall and I think the fall sale doesn't happen until November. This event was geared towards getting people to spend money because Sephora has changed their tier rewards. They've added another, they, you know that they have Rouge. They're adding on top that if you are Rouge and you have over a thousand points, you can trade it in for money off of your orders finally. Sephora's finally getting on the bandwagon that Ulta's has already been on, that we've all been begging Sephora to get on. So finally, we're getting what we wanted from Sephora, but you do have to be a specific tier and have a large amount of points. I am not VIB Rouge, I am only VIB, which is very important, Beauty Insider, meaning I've spent over $300 in the calendar year with Sephora. I came into this year with that ranking instead of Rouge. I did not spend enough last year for it, and I don't think I will spend enough to hit Rouge this year or hit Rouge next year. So, what did I get during the sale because I've been talking for two minutes and you're probably bored already. First things first, I got another one of the Hourglass Scatter Light Glitter Shadows. This one is in the shade Reflect. This one is a more um, rosy glitter shade. I'm trying to spin it around so you guys can really see. It's kind of a goldy sheeny, champagne-y, like rose. It's more of a rose champagne kind of color, if anything. In comparison, the original, these are $29 at Sephora. In comparison, the first shade that I bought of these, this is Smoke, which is a taupey gold shade, like an antique kind of gold. I ended up saying that I love this one so much, I wanted one for my warm tone looks, which is going to be Reflect. Um, I think there are five shades in the series. I don't need all five. I'm just going to stick with the two that I've gotten and maybe more if they have some more interesting color selections in the future. Everything else is a yellow gold um, and then getting more into rose golds and deeper like reddish gold or reddish shine colors that aren't really part of my everyday like carry. I want something that's going to kind of sparkle while giving it some shine and that's what I actually have on my eyelids today along with something else that I bought that wasn't from Sephora so I'm going to segue into that. So, if I never mentioned this before, sometimes I do buy makeup off of Instagram or from other people on Reddit, and these are not the safest way to buy cosmetics. I'm saying that now because it's going to sound really good, but I want to point out, these things are from people that you do not know, unless a friend gives it to you, and even then, you don't know if they're sanitized, you don't know if they had pink eye, you don't know if it was fake and they bought it cheap and then they wanted to sell it for retail. You don't know anything. I will only work with people who have reviews, who have high seller ratings, who are verified, who don't have accounts actively attacking them. Yes, even if it's a fake thing, I'm not going to buy from an account that's being actively attacked by another account because I don't know why and I don't want to know why. I just don't want to be a part of that. So the next thing I actually got was the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is why I have on my eyes. I was not going to buy this because I have more than enough neutral palettes. I love Anastasia's shadows, however, and this one kind of just screamed at me and said, come on, let's do this. So if you've never seen it before, which is really hard because a lot of YouTubers used it in their more get ready with me looks, it is just a neutral palette with a lot of warm orange tones and then some pinky shimmers and goldy shimmers. This bronze shade is labeled bronze. It is not a bronze color, however. Um, I just love Anastasia's shadows and I love the formula and it looks really good on the eyes. Everything else besides the glitter is Anastasia on those eyeballs that you're looking at right now. But I really did think that like this is something that I wanted to get that I wasn't really going to spend full price on and I got it for $28. The seller sell, has sold a lot of things, they have well reviews, 
I did double check that this is real by comparing pictures of the back and the packaging to pictures on um, Tintalia's website from when she reviewed Soft Glam. I did this before I purchased the product, so these are things you can do to kind of help yourself. If they don't have actual photos of their own product, you need to not buy that. It should always be pictures of a product, usually in a home. It might be well lit, it might be well taken, but you always take the time and ask the seller questions. If they are defensive or unwilling to answer those questions, you should consider that they probably are trying to scam you for your money and you should stop talking to them. I'm just saying, you know, nobody, nobody good ever has something defensive to be about. That sounds really dumb because it's all in the wrong order, but if they had, if they, why are they defensive? What do they have to be defensive about? All right, all right. All right, the second thing I got from the Sephora sale was this. This is the Paracone MD No Rinse Intensive Pore Minimizing Toner. I'm sorry, that was off screen most of I was reading it. So I used to use this on my nose. It is a very stripping product. Let's start with this is a very stripping product, but it has changed. The packaging has changed. It's now part of their no rinse line. I guess people were washing their faces afterward. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But Paracone MD is one of those brands where nothing smells good, but it's going to work. But that price tag makes you want to gag. And what it does, it kind of starts to pull everything out of your pores. And you'll do all the rest of your skincare afterwards. So there's going to be something on top to rehydrate your nose. But you're going to be drying out your nose as you sh completely try to strip those pores. And what it does over time is it's going to start pulling everything out of my pores. So all the little whiteheads that I've been getting recently because I've been using a heavier moisturizer. My skin is oily and easily clogged. So what happens is I cannot use heavier moisturizers regularly. Um, this is what I use to kind of counteract that. Plus, I didn't really have a good exfoliating toner in my life and my life is all about exfoliation, hydration. That's it actually, it's exfoliation. My life is exfoliation and hydration for skincare. If it's not, if it doesn't do either of those, it's not supposed to be there, you know? Um, so this is my exfoliation. And specifically, I'm going to be using this on my nose since my nose is where I have the most pore problems, um, being that they get, they're regularly filled, you know, they're regularly getting clogged, they regularly get blackheads. My nose is where I have the most texture even, and I wanted something to help balance that out. So part of my texture issue is a lack of hydration, so I've added a moisturizer to do that. But also a problem with my nose is that it gets, um, it's very easily clogged and gets blackheads very easily, and moisture helps that, so I need something that's going to exfoliate. Speaking of my skin and saving money, this I got from Biosense and I'll put the name on the screen because it's B-I-O-S-S-A-N-C-E, Biosense. I got it and originally I was going to get it from Sephora, but sometimes a deal is better than points. And in my case, the bio, this is the Biosense Squalene, Squalene, Squal, Squalene and Glycolic Renewal Facial. It is a facial mask. So normally this bad boy is $68. So, y'all you, you, you know how I am about, about that. Like, $68 for some skincare. <laughs> I'll cough, but if it's good, I'll buy it. Well, I was going to buy it in the Sephora sale, which is a 15% off sale. But, on the Biosense website, I think they were having a 25% off sale. This is one of those creamy facial exfoliants. It's got a lot of glycolic acid in it, so it's really resurfacing the skin as you wear it but also it has little like washable grains for physical exfoliation as well. Now normally I don't fucks with um, physical exfoliants, but this one, I've been using a sample for a while, is really very comfortable and not very um, damaging like a St. Ives mask. Never use St. Ives. Never ever ever use St. Ives. Believe me and my, my beautiful face. Never use St. Ives. And you guys have seen my bare skin more times than I can count. Um, but I got, so I got this. This is my once a week mask. I have also like an exfoliating pad that you can use every other day. But this is my bad boy, like, if I've had a bad skin day, or if I know that this is, I need to renew for the rest of the week, that is that mask. 
All right, and then the last thing I grabbed from Sephora. So I only did grab three things from Sephora and two things from two other places. Um, I reduced rates as well. So this is, that's how sale shopping should work. You should be buying things like from wherever it's gonna save you the most money because you were already gonna buy it. Soft Lamb was the only thing I wasn't really gonna buy, but at that price, and then it was my recent like love affair with Anastasia, I got the Norvina palette. I have a look with the Norvina palette that I can't wait to show you guys here on the channel. Um, my shopping has not been that sporadic. The last thing I actually got was the cost, the French Press Coffee Gloss from, um, what is it? French Press Lip Gloss from Bite Beauty, and I got it in the shade Dirty Chai, and I had to get it online because they did not have it in stores. It's mo one of the most popular shades because it's just a dusty rose gloss color. Um, it just looks good on my skin. I have a little bit of brown, I actually have a little bit of eyebrow pencil on my lips so to substitute as brown liner, but it is definitely so gorgeous. It tastes like coffee, but also like bite lip products. If you've never had a bite lip product, you need to own one immediately where they are kind of sweet and edible tasting, but it does actually smell like a fresh cup of coffee and it goes over the lips really well and it's very smooth and not sticky feeling. Like, I would prefer this to, like, Fenty Gloss Bomb, because Gloss Bomb is very sticky and glossy, but glittery, and this is just shiny, a little bit of tint of color, and not sticky at all. Plus, Gloss Bomb does not taste good. It smells good. It does not taste good. So I got this. This was $22? Yeah. This was $22 from Sephora, and then again, I got it during the 15% off sale. The Paracone Empty No Rinse Intensive Pore Minimizing Toner. I would suggest getting a sample from Sephora first and trying that on your face. Um, or you can get one at Ulta. They do sell this at Ulta as well. They sell this brand. I don't know if they sell this exact thing in store. I know they do at Sephora. And this is $45. And then reminder that the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Shadows are in fact $29. So in all, I probably would have spent like over $100, but instead I spent about $89. Um, my goal was to get things I already wanted, like a skin skincare edition, the other sh another shade of this a warm tone, and this damn gloss that I've been wanting forever, but it's never in stock. Um, I got what I needed, and then I also picked up this mask from Squalene because it was gonna go on my Sephora cart either way. But it's better that I save more money there rather than kind of you know instead of trying to lump it all together for a points value. So just just to make sure we all get the gist of the joke, you do not have to buy anything from the Sephora sales. I know that on Make Rehab, I have read it to Make It Rehab that I do frequent, they are always talking about how I skipped the sale, I missed the sale, I missed the sale, and I, I'm good and happy. If you really, really wanted something from the sale, if you really wanted you wanted to buy a product or something you wanted and if the redu and it was something you wanted, it was something you needed and the price is reduced, that is the time to use a sale. It is not for, well I feel like buying 14,000 new things. Don't do that. Don't buy a bunch of things that you don't think you're going to, that you might not even like because you do have to put in the effort to return it. And God forbid that you do not want to do that part because then now you're stuck with something that you didn't want. And we all know how it feels to be stuck with products that don't work for you, don't fit your skin, and you can't take them back. Don't add on to that. Don't add to that horrible feeling, you know, for you. But that is gonna be it. I'm gonna stop waxing poetic here because it's gonna get on somebody's nerves. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this Sephora sale haul. I I, I say haul like I bought 14,000 things. I've watched haul videos and I just go, damn either got good job or you two paying them good because they just bought like it's like five hundred dollars at Sephora and I'm just like but again if YouTube is your job YouTube you write that shit off as a business and so it's boom gone done tax tax something but this is not this is just my makeup like if you saw this desk down here you would be like how do you even function and the answer is I don't I really fucking don't I remember Sparrow's Big D Sash. I really want to keep doing those videos. I'm going to try to knock some more out before the end of the year. And my, because I've been adding, unfortunately, to some categories I've already just stashed. So it's, it's getting a little difficult. But I do really appreciate every time you guys click on these videos and come hang out with me for a little while. 
it makes my day. I love comments because when I click and there's a little icon saying I have a comment. Oh, I get to respond. It's, it's, it makes me happy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that I've probably been talking for a long time. But if you like tutorials, anti-hauls, first impressions, re reviews, you should just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't do as many tutorials. I got some actually in the computer right now that I am editing that I will hopefully be able to get out to you guys as soon as I can. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!